Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Cosmos and Atom and we're going to be bringing an update to everything that's been happening with Cosmos and we're going to be going over the roadmap and also just some some of the latest partnerships as well. So we're also going to be going over a price prediction and just also taking a look at the assets price and seeing if it fits into the current narrative of the entire broader crypto market. So let's dive into it. First of all, let's start with the basics. What is Cosmos? So Cosmos is a cryptocurrency project aiming to establish an interconnected network of crypto networks, leveraging open source platforms while enabling streamlined transactions. The project differs from most crypto projects through its unique emphasis on customizability and interoperability. A notable feature of Cosmos is its departure from prioritizing its own network, instead focusing on nurturing an ecosystem of networks capable of programmatically sharing data and tokens without reliance on a central party for facilitation. So within the Cosmos framework, each newly created independent blockchain, referred to as a zone, is connected to the Cosmos Hub, a proof-of-stake blockchain that records the state of each zone. So in this line, each single zone contributes to the broader state of the Cosmos Hub. Overall, the interconnected state of the Cosmos network promotes a decentralized and interoperable blockchain system. So Atom is the native token of Cosmos, serving as the network's core asset. Its primary functions include staking for validators and users, governance its participation, payment of transaction fees, ensuring network security, and facilitating inner blockchain communication through the Internet of Blockchains Communications or IBC protocol. Atom is pivotal in incentivizing active participation, securing the network and enabling seamless transactions and governance across the Cosmos ecosystem. Now let's talk about the roadmap implementation progress. So when discussing the Cosmos roadmap, the platform has largely remained on course. So as part of its roadmap, Cosmos achieved significant milestones in 2023. Let's look at some of them. So first of all, we have the interchain security launch. So the Cosmos Hub successfully launched Interchain Security, introducing top-tier consumer chain projects, Neutron, and Stride. The Stride launch demonstrated standalone to consumer migration technology, facilitating a seamless transition from a standalone chain to an ICS consumer chain. And then there's the Liquid Staking Module launch. So the Cosmos Hub introduced the Liquid Staking Module, allowing Atom stakers to utilize staked Atom for collateral, liquidity, and other purposes within the Cosmos DeFi ecosystem. This enhances the liquidity and versatility of Atom. And then there's the enhanced release velocity. So the Cosmos Hub significantly increased its release velocity, averaging nearly one monthly release. Additionally, it established a robust testnet program for consumer chains to ensure the development of high quality and stable chains. Notably, Cosmos has unveiled its updated roadmap for 2024, outlining primary objectives for expanding the inter-blockchain communication or IBC project with key deliverables. And also these are really technical. So if you want to read more about it, because it's all related to the Cosmos SDK, then you can check it out in the description below. Also down in the description below, you can check out the Tangent card. And with the link in the description down below, you can get a 10% discount on your purchase when you sign up for Tangem. Tangem is a cold wallet solution. And they're also a company based in Switzerland. And they also have a really slick app and wallet to use. I made a bunch of videos on it. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and check it out. It's definitely a competitor to Ledger. And also, I think it's a great solution to diversify with other different cold wallet solutions. Make sure to check it out in the description down below. Now, when it comes to key partnerships and adoption status, Cosmos Network ranks among crypto projects with ongoing network activities seeking to help the platform meet its mandate. So in this regard, the platform has strategically forged significant partnerships and integrations to bolster its ecosystem, aligning with its core mission. So while recent months may not have seen the adoption of of new collaborations, the platform continues to thrive through its ongoing high profile partnerships. So let's look at some of the existing partnerships and integrations involving Cosmos. So Cosmos partnered with Forte, a gaming blockchain platform with expertise that includes wallet integration and NFT support. So Cosmos developers will streamline onboarding for third party game developers on Cosmos and Forte will integrate Atom and other Cosmos friendly currencies, enhancing user experience and advancing blockchain 
blockchain in gaming. Cosmo is partnered also with Wormhole, which is a cross-chain bridge, simplifying cross-chain crypto interactions. Wormhole joined forces with Injective, an EVM chain, to enable communication with Cosmos. So this integration enhances interoperability within the Cosmos network, introducing new use cases and expanding transactional opportunities. Cosmos has partnered also with Asia Digital Bank, LTD, and also blockchain tech company Beyond J to create a digital infrastructure supporting the seamless integration of centralized and decentralized financial services. Utilizing Cosmos technology, users can manage both traditional and decentralized accounts through Cosmos Hub, driving blockchain adoption at an enterprise level. So when it comes to the price action, you know, a lot of projects have been pumping recently. And when we take a look at the past year, you know, the Atom token has not really seen, you know, the likes of which, you know, for example, Solana or other projects have. You know, and Cosmos is, I would say, is fairly quiet when we're talking when we're taking a look at, you know, the social activity. We can see here this is on Santiment, which Santiment is a on-chain analysis platform, and it mostly specializes in looking at social metrics when it comes to different projects. And here in blue, we can just see the social volume of Atom, and then in green we can see the price of Atom. So this is in 2021, right at like peak prices here for Atom. We can see that the peak of the social activity was then as well. Now, if we just kind of zoom in on the past few months or so, the past six months, we can see that, you know, really the amount of social volume with Adam hasn't picked up a whole lot as much as I would, you know, honestly like it to, for example, you know, we can see here that, you know, it was at a decent amount before, but, you know, ever since the, you know, June bear summer, really it's kind of dipped a lot and it's slowly growing back right of course the prices as well so that's that's great too so if you're interested in you know investing in cosmos and you're trying to see a return on your asset of course this is not not financial advice um, don't listen to anything i say i'm just a degenerate on the internet but i would say that you have to look at the current narratives of the crypto market, right? Like for example, there is as of recently, all of Solana and the meme coins on Solana like Bonk. And you know, this was kind of a driving narrative. And then now we have already ordinals and meme coins on, you know, the BRC 20 standard. And so you kind of have to look at these different narratives that come about. And right now there really isn't a narrative for layer zeros, like for example, Cosmos and for example, Polkadot, you know, and both of these as well, like Cosmos and Dot, have never really had a cult like following. And sometimes it's also really important to have these cult like followings where a lot of people are talking about this specific project. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to say, of course, but yeah, it's, it's sometimes definitely important to you know, have a cult like following. And I've never really seen a lot of diehard fans of, for example, Adam, right? As much as you have, for example, Solana, right? Solana, it's either you love it or you hate it. There's like no in between with people on the internet, right? And I've never really seen much of uh, fans with Cosmos or the Atom token. So that's probably one thing to, to maybe think about. But at the same time, you know, Cosmos is integrated with so many different blockchain platforms that maybe this could be a little bit more of a institutional play, something like Chainlink or Quant, maybe it could fit into that narrative. So that's something to definitely think about when you're you know, possibly looking at this project to maybe invest in. Um, of course, not financial advice, like I said. Now, when we're comparing the current price and market cap right now to other projects, right? Uh, of course, right now, let's check out the ranking. So it's at the 20th, right? It's at the 20th position. And we're taking a look at the market cap based on coin market cap data. And if it were to, for example, go to a project like Litecoin at 5.6 billion of a market cap, which right now it has a market cap of 4.5 billion dollars. If it were to go to 5.6 billion at Litecoin, then that would make the potential price of a one atom to $14.67 or an upside of 22%. Now, when we're taking a look at you know the tokenomics of the project, this is also another thing to, to maybe criticize with the project as well, right? And you know, for example, the total supply right now is 380 million that are out and also circulating. Now, there is also no max supply, so it's pretty much, you know, 
infinite, right? So there's always going to be coins that are going to be minted into circulation. So this is also another thing. There's going to be inflation over time. And so when we're taking a look at the previous all-time high, we can see here it was roughly around $43.61. So as we move along here, which current market cap would it have to be at right now to get it up to around $43? It would have to be at around ABAX right now, Avalanche, at $15.6 billion dollars. And that would put the potential price of one atom at $41 or an upside of 241%. So if we were to take a look at the previous all-time high, when we're taking a look at the market cap, that was at 10 point, let's just say, let's just roughly say it was at $10 billion uh, for the total market cap. And that was at $43 back then. Now, if it was at $10 billion of a market cap, that would make the price of one atom currently at $26 and that would be an upside of 119%. And that is due to the current circulating supply. So for example, if it were to hit its previous all time high, if you were speaking about market cap, then technically, it wouldn't actually exceed its dollar price amount of $43 at the previous all time high, it would roughly be around $26 per atom. So this is something to take into account. And this is also just due to the circulating supply and also the inflation of the token. So that's probably one thing to take a look at when you're looking at this project. Overall, I'm definitely bullish on Cosmos and the Cosmos ecosystem. Some tokens that I like from the Cosmos ecosystem are Kanto, which I made a video about previously. Maybe I should do a video about some Cosmos tokens and some projects that are within the ecosystem. But ones that I'm definitely bullish on would be Kanto and also Neutron. So maybe I should talk about those in separate videos. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for this one. See you guys in the next one.